Oh, hey guys, how are you? I hope that you have been having an absolutely great week. I know that it has been a little bit challenging, I'm sure, with us just celebrating Easter and you probably not being able to do some of the things that you are so very used to doing around this time. I don't know, hopefully you guys still got to have your egg hunt. Hopefully you still came to church and you were watching online with your parents or you were visiting uh, with family or, or doing some of the fun things that you would normally do. You know, Easter is such a special time. It's a great reminder of, of all that God has done for us, and it's really fun to celebrate it. But around this time of year, I always find myself thinking about what comes next. We, we celebrate the empty tomb. We celebrate that Jesus has risen and that he has made it possible for us to have a relationship with God. But what comes next? What comes after that? And uh, Easter becomes kind of has become in my life this marker for me and this reminder of, of something uh, that is really just special. And it's a message that I want to share with all of you guys uh, this week. And it's this. It's this simple reality that God has given all of us, me, you, your parents, everyone, a mission. A mission, like a secret agent thing, kind of. Dun, 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 dun. I, I don't know if it's quite like that, uh, but it's it's definitely something that is in that realm. He's given us a task to do. He's given us something that we can uh, share in Him with, and we see that you know right after even Jesus came back to life from after He resurrected, He He sits down and He has a meal with His disciples, and this is what He says to them. This is from the book of John, chapter 20. And here is what he says. John, chapter 20, verse 21. And Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. So we have this mission, something that, that God has sent us to do. Do you guys know what that could be? Do you know, has, has God sent you to do something? I, I often ask myself this question because I think it's, it's kind of a challenging thing for us to all believe in. It's kind of a challenging thing to think, well, I'm so young or I'm you know, not very good at this or I'm not good at sports or I'm not popular. I don't have many friends or I don't have this really awesome thing going on in my life. In fact, right now, really all I can do is sit at home on the couch and I might get to play with my brother or sister or I might get to watch TV a little bit or play a little video games, but really I'm just not doing much right now. And the reality is, guys, that even though our life is weird right now, even though our life is not what we thought it would be or, or where we want it to be right now, that God still has a mission for you and I to complete. And uh, it has a little bit of something to do with one of these and this thing right over here. Uh, do you guys know what this is? Oh, this is an envelope. This is, do you know what these are used for? Yeah, we, we send letters in these. We send messages. And just as Jesus told us in John, uh, the mission that God has given us is that he has given us a message to share with the rest of the world. He's given us something that we are supposed to take and that we are supposed to not keep it inside to ourselves, but give it out, give it out to our friends, share it with other people in our family, with our parents, with our siblings. And it's this amazing idea that just as we learned on Easter, that God deeply loves each and every one of us and that he wants nothing more than to have a relationship with us. And he has given us a mission that once we learn that, it's our mission to go out and to tell other people about that and to help other people understand that this is what we are supposed to do. We are, in a sense, a letter that God is sending to the rest of the world, inviting them to do the very thing that we get to do, and that's to experience His love. You know, you might be thinking that there are all kinds of reasons why you are not the message, why you are not the messenger, the person sending the message. Someone, you are not someone that God has called to be his messenger because you are just a kid. You're so young. You don't know what to say. You wouldn't know what to do. 
And the reality is, guys, is none of that matters. There's another story in the Bible about a little guy named Jeremiah. And when God first started speaking to Jeremiah, when God first gave Jeremiah a message to share, he wasn't much older than you guys were. He was probably in what we would consider to be about the, the fifth or sixth grade. And, and God came to him and said, hey, I have this message that I want you to share with the people of Israel. And this is what he told Jeremiah to say. This is from Jeremiah chapter 1, and it's verses 4 through 8. And it says, Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. And then I said, Ah, oh, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a youth, for to all to whom I send you, you shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. So, early on in Jeremiah's life, God promises him. He promises him, he says, Jeremiah, you are my messenger. You, even though you're young, and Jeremiah points that out, right? He says to God, God, I'm only, I'm only a youth. I'm only so young. How can I do this? And God says to him, no, 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 Jeremiah. I've given you this message. And because I've given you this message, I'm also giving you a command. And I'm giving you a promise. And so the command is that God commanded Jeremiah to share the message. And the promise is that he should not be afraid because no matter what, wherever he went, as long as he was sharing that message and doing what God asked him to do, God would be with him, and God would empower him. And you know what's so awesome about that, guys, is right now, even as crazy as our life is, even though you're not at school, you're not playing sports, your life is, is probably so topsy-turvy that you don't really understand or know what's going on, that this idea that God has made you a messenger, that he has made you his letter to people, hasn't changed. It stays the same. And so you have an opportunity right now, in spite of everything that's going on, you have an opportunity right now to share a lot of hope with people, to share God's message with people. And I know that you're saying, well, how am I going to do that? I can't see people. I can't do this. I can't do that. Or I'm not allowed to play outside. Or there's a whole list of things we could go down. But I think the bottom line is this. All of us could find the envelope. And I'm sure that if we thought really hard and thought really long about it, we could all think of somebody that we could probably send a letter to. Somebody that we could use a postage stamp with and, and write a little note about how much God loves them or write a little note about how God is with them in this time, even though they might be afraid. And we can send it off to them. In your activity guide, there's one specific person that I think could really use a word from you guys, could really stand to hear how much God loves her, uh, how much you guys care about her, and I hope that you'll take an opportunity this week to write that letter and uh, figure out some way to get it to her. I've put in the guide for your parents some ways that they can get it to, uh, to her, and uh, hopefully we can, you guys can help me with that process. But as we close, remember... Guys, even though you're young, even though you might be afraid, even though you might feel like there's absolutely no way you could do this, God has made us all his messengers. He's made me his messenger. He's made your mom and dad his messenger. But most importantly, he has made you his messenger. And he has made you his messenger so that you can go and tell others about just how much he loves them, how much he cares for them how much of an impact he could make in their life, even in this crazy time right now. So just as Jesus told his disciples that he was sending them, guys, God is sending you, and he wants to help you have an impact on people you know. He wants to get to know your friends. He wants to get to know you, and he wants to get to know your family. How can you introduce someone to God this week? I'm going to pray with you, and then I hope you guys 
Have a great week. Take advantage of the activity guide. Hopefully your parents are, are going through some of the stories I'm sending out with you. And uh, I just can't tell you how much I look forward to the day where we are all back in kids' church together again. Let's pray. God, we thank you for today. We thank you for this time. And we thank you that even though we're young, even though we might not see it, God, you've given us a role to play. You have asked us to be messengers, to be people who carry your words of hope, of love to the world. And so, God, I just pray for each and every kid that might watch this, God. I pray that you would lay someone on their heart that they could share your love with, that they could share your message with. And God, I pray that they would uh, walk closely with you, that they would study your word, and that they would take time to learn about the impact Jesus could have on their life and the impact that Jeremiah had on, or the impact that you had on Jeremiah's life. God, we're thankful that you love us. We're thankful that you're here for us. And we just pray as we go through this crazy time that you continue to guide us and continue to reveal yourself to us. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, guys. Hope to see you soon.